Oh, someone's been busy shopping. Oh, it was me, Rolly. I found a shopping basket and then I found lots and lots of things to put in it. But Pom kept taking them out again. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I think I have a story about shopping. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> right oh, back in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> Books over here, books over there, books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Now, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes, really. Then I'll begin. Now, this story is all about shopping. I need to go shopping. I've made a list. Bread, apples and eggs. Is there something I've missed? I've so little time, so I walk very fast. Ah, here are the shops at last. This is the baker's, but what's going on? No sign of a loaf, not even a crumb. The baker's unhappy. I'm sorry to say our oven is broken. There's no bread today. No bread? Oh dear, no bread to buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. At the greengrocer's is a very long queue. So while I wait, I look at the view. There are hundreds of fruits piled up very tall, but can you believe it, no apples at all. No apples, oh dear, no apples to buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. I like to buy eggs at the farmer's shop, but the egg van today had to suddenly stop and all the boxes fell wide open. And yes, every single egg was broken. No eggs. Oh dear, no eggs to buy. There is not a thing on my list I can buy. But there's somewhere else that I could try. The supermarket is huge and wide. With lots of different things inside. So many things it isn't funny. Because I've just spent all my money. No money, oh dear. No money to spend. But at least I found everything in the end. The person in the story found all the shopping they wanted. Just like me.